This is Kanu, also known as the center of commerce. Did you know that this state got a population of 3.9 million people, making it the second largest state here in Nigeria and the biggest in the entire northern Nigeria. One thing that got me fascinated when I got in here was that when I kept on moving around Kanu, I saw that what everyone was doing was trading. I never knew that Kanu is actually the hub of trade in Nigeria. It was shocking to find out that people actually make one million naira a day by just selling here in this famous market that you see on your screen. And you know how I always do it. I always travel to learn and educate you. So I got my friend Halima in here who's going to take me around, educate me on what goes on here so that I will also be able to educate you. If you are new to the channel, please do me a favor, subscribe and be part of this awesome family. Don't forget to like the video and help us reach 700,000 subscribers by the end of this month. It's free to subscribe. Aya Maya. Peace out. Is this the Kanu market that everyone is yes. talking about? Yes, this is the Quarry market. It's the um, textile market. The textile market? Yeah. What is the name of this place? Quarry. What? Quarry market. Quarry. That's how it's called. Quarry market? Yeah. Wow. How, how many markets do you guys have in here? Um, I think we have about three to four main markets. We have the, um, the textile market, which is here. The uh, um, vegetable market, Enkaba. Okay. And the Sabongari market, it's like all around everything. You and know then what, it what? is it's actually the biggest market, the Sabongari. No, the Sabongari. This is yeah, this is this is quarry. Quarry. Yeah. You know, you know what I heard? Oh my goodness, this place is so busy, man. Yeah. <laughs> and they're actually closing now, you know, they're, it's they're getting closing. late. Oh, yeah. It's getting late, yeah. Mm. But you know what I heard? I heard that Kanu is called the center of commerce. Yeah, center well, of commerce. Why is it called center of commerce? Well, I think um, back in the days, everybody is actually into business, you mm. know, even um, even women at home, they're into small, small businesses. Small, small businesses. Yeah, so many women selling home necessities mm. that you will have to need for your day-to-day -day activities. So everybody wow. is actually into business. So that's why it's actually called um, the so, center of, of so commerce. When you come to Kano, this is where everything goes down. Yeah. I mean, this is where you get all the money that you're looking for. Yeah, but, yeah, and the other markets. But, I, but you mean like people really make that much amount of money? A lot of people, yes. The richest black man is from Kano, so. Oh. Yeah. And you mean Dangote is from Kano? Yes, he's from Nigeria. He's from Kano. I didn't know that. Yeah, he is. How, so how we, many rich people have ever come out of the city? A lot of people. So Kano is just a great place. Uh -huh. Kano is great. Everybody, a lot of people have made it. A lot of people are making it. Ooh. I can take you to a friend of mine, oh, really? um, Farida. She's a woman and she made it in the in the textile. She's into the textile business, and she she actually started from grass to grace. Grass to grace. Yes, and she's doing so good in the business. She owns her own textile company or something. Yes. Yes, she doesn't. She doesn't like um, produce. She doesn't have a factory, but she makes her own. She designs it. She brings okay. it. She distributes it all over the market. Whoa! All over this market. Uh, is it possible for you to take me? Of to course, you can see her. She's one of the people that she truly inspires me. She inspires you. Yes. But your life inspires me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to meet your inspiration. Will you okay. take me yes, there? we can. Amazing. We can go there, right, right there. You know what? So, Inshallah. this is Kanu. I'm so glad that I came in here. They said this place is called the center of commerce. This is where people actually make more money. And here, you make money too. And my friend, Halima. No, you know what? You need to get a YouTube channel. <laughs> you know, I have the channel, but I'm not really... Um, I'm not really um, serious about it. You know what? But hopefully... Mm -hmm. Let's do this. I'm going to do this for you. Okay. I'm going to do this for you. You know, since I came to Kanu, I'm not seeing any YouTuber from Kanu. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is to create a YouTube channel for you. Okay. So that we help you tell our stories from Kanu. Is that All okay? right. Hopefully, but it's going to be mostly food vlogs and stuff. Food vlogs. Yeah. No, show us food vlogs and show us a little bit of Kanu. All right, then. You know, you can do this. Help me. 10,000 subscribers by the end of this month for this beautiful lady beside me. I mean, she has been of a great help taking me everywhere I want to go to. So if you love your favorite boy, 
please do me a favor. Go to our YouTube channel. The link will be in the description box. Make sure you go yes, like, you know and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, and I promise I'm going to be very much active. <laughs> you promise? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go meet your friend. All right. Fantastic. Mommy, my name is Wadamaya from Ghana, and my beautiful friend Halima told me that you are one of the people in Kano who really represent <laughs> from grass to grace. Can you please tell me your name and who you are? Yeah, Alhamdulillah, my name is Farida Musakalla. Mm. And um, you're born and raised in Kano? Yes, I'm born and raised in Kano State uh, at Gomaja. She told me something that I never believed. She told me that you're one of the people that took the risk in trying to buy a car. But you first to buy a car and then use the money to do business. But I, I, she normally lies a lot, so. My friend is telling you the truth. Really? <laughs> yeah. C can you tell us how everything started? Oh, um, I at first I started business with just few wrappers and ten pieces, like for. 15,000 or 20,000, that is, let's see, my pocket money. But uh, I was given 600,000 from my mom to buy a car. Naira? Yeah, Naira in Naira, to buy a car. That's the last 10 years. I didn't buy the car. I, my husband encouraged me not to buy that car at then because he cannot handle two cars for maintenance at once. It, I, that's the year 2010. Yeah. <laughs> um, at the year 2010, you're already married. Yes, I'm married. Okay. I was married at the age of 18 years. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> and, <laughs> so, and why was your mother giving you money to buy a car? Okay, then I was going to university, okay. uh, BUK at Kano State. Hmm. I was going by taxi. Then she gave me that car. Mm, I was pregnant, my first pregnancy because of the struggles. So she gave me that money at least to reduce oh, the, okay. yeah. So the money was just to make your life comfortable. Yeah, exactly. And you didn't make your life comfortable. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you did with the money. Okay, my husband was a business person. Okay. He gave me, he encouraged me not to buy that car because he cannot handle the maintenance of two cars at once. That is what I was telling you. Mm. Then, he encouraged me, maybe you can, with that money keeping them, you can start the business of that 10 wrappers that you are buying. You can start with, let's say, 1,000 of pieces of it. I will encourage you how to be successful. I was so scared because I don't want to, I don't want to, let's say, the money, that money, I was saying it as my life <laughs> because I never, I, I never have that money before. Okay. Yeah. So you're, you're keeping that money. Yes, I'm keeping it without the car. Maybe let's say I gave him maybe one year or two year to settle after marriage. Mm -hmm. From then I will buy the car. Okay. Yes. <laughs> then he encouraged me. Maybe you can start the business with. 1,000, instead of you buying 10 pieces of wrappers, buy 1,000 of it. I will encourage you how to be successful. Hmm. Yes, uh, I was so scared. We bought that wrappers from India. I imported it by cargo. Then he encouraged me to start the business with maybe, yes, you won't give out credits. Don't give out credits. That's my first word to you. Wow. Then uh, if that wrapper, in the market, we are selling it at uh, 5,000, then you put little profits of okay. it uh, uh, from the profit you are expecting, give out to wholesalers. The wholesalers try to see, let's say, minimum of 10 pieces is the wholesale price. Okay. We are selling it at 4,000, 5,000, then you put only the profit of uh, 700 naira, that, it, that is, uh, sell it at uh, 4,000 naira. Hmm. Then the quantity should be 10 pieces minimum and it should be cash you see your wholesalers will come to you and buy it at cash because the price is lesser and they will gain they will sell it also and gain another profit from it so in no time in just one week i can see i 
sold out that 1,000 pieces and my profit was intact in cash. <laughs> I was so surprised. And then he encouraged me, I should keep on doing it. If there is anything, he will keep me in the right path because he he's a business person as I told how, you. How much did you make in your first... Um I mean, your first business. In my first like business. From the 600? Yes, I can see 400. In no time, I was recording 1 million naira. Out of the 600? <laughs> Out of the 600. So, were you happy that you Yes, I was car? so happy. I was so happy. I hope you didn't stop school. No, the money. no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, um, you, how long have you been doing this business? From 2010 to? Yes, till now. You see now, I, I'm at my shop here. Oh, before you didn't have a shop? Uh, yes, I, it's in my house, in my parlour. I used to, my sitting room, I used to put the wrappers and selling it at home. But advertising from Facebook, there is no even Instagram then. Yes, Whoa. only Facebook and WhatsApp. So you, you, you were advertising on Facebook and yes, WhatsApp? Yes, yes. You didn't have a shop? I didn't have a shop. Now you have a shop? Yes, I How have shops. shops have? Three shops. <laughs> you have three shops? Yes, three shops. Did you buy a new car? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of cars now. A lot of cars? Yeah. You, you built your own house? Yes. Is I, it a mansion or a house? A, a mansion, <laughs> not a house. <laughs> Oh my God. You know, we have so many young Africans watching us right now, especially young women. Yeah. We have a message to tell she them. She said something about the first year. First year? Yes, in first year, I recorded around from 600,000. I was recording like 10 million naira for the first year of my business. No, I, I, are you kidding me? No. The first year of your business? Yes, the first out of the, year. Out of the 600? Yes, yes, out of the 600, I was recording 10 million. And that was cash, I'm telling you. There is no credit in that business. <laughs> Whoa. So this is what you've been doing? Yes, so, so now? yes, yes, this is what I have been doing. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Are you planning to establish your own factory here in Kanu? Yes, inshallah. That's my plan. But even if it is a small factory, I want to start with it. What, what has been the major challenge doing this business in here? The major challenge doing business here? Yeah. Maybe I can say the government is not ready for help. Most you can see like now transfer of dollar is something else. And yes, uh, you cannot um, buy goods abroad. The process of sending money is becoming so hectic. Most especially during this corona period. Wow. And it's affecting the business. Exactly. Yeah, but I know you have a lot of experience, so you definitely come uh, yes, out of yes, it. Yes, yes, exactly. How many people are working for you now? Uh, 22. 22. Like 22, people. yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> you know, there's something that I really don't understand, yeah? You made all this thing possible here in Nigeria. Yes. Did you live in the UK? No. Did you live in the US? No, I Did never you live been. In Canada? No, I never been there. But I can see I was in China last year because of the business. Okay. Well, maybe um, I used to go to Dubai since before, but it's because of bu the business, business I have been traveling out. And there's so many young Nigerians out there who are saying that it's not possible in Nigeria. No, it's possible. <laughs> it's in possible. Kano. All this, <laughs> I have Nigeria. done it here in okay. Kano, Nigeria. You did everything here? Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so if you have a message for young Nigerians who are looking for where to go out there, or those of them who are out there, if you're telling them to come back or don't go, what would that message be? Everything is possible in my country. They can do, they can do whatever they want, and they will be successful, inshallah. There is no rush in, the, in life. That is what I can see. Everything, if it's, if it's time for you to do it, you will do it like me now. Mm. You can see I told you I'm having a lot of cars. Mm. That time, when I, when I was given money for the car, it's not yet time for me to do it. Mm. <laughs> it's not yet time for you to have a car. Yes. <laughs> now, I think even if you are going to wash, to you have, have to drive. <laughs> <laughs> 
So if somebody want to buy anything from you or if somebody want to get to know who you are, where do we find you? FMK Clothing Nigeria Limited at Instagram. Okay, and yes. Facebook? Uh, Facebook, FMK Collectibles. Uh, before she didn't have Instagram, now she's giving us Instagram. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just want to say thank you. I think from the Instagram, there's yeah. the contact and everything. Yes, everything, everything is there. So if you are in Nigeria, wherever you are in Nigeria, definitely you have to contact her. We have a lot of customers at Ghana. We used really? to send, yes. Oh, so it's like... I, I forgot to ask you, so do you sell only to Nigerians? No, or? not Nigerian. We used to send to Ghana our I'll, rappers I'll, I'll all round. Your, I'll be your supplying guy. <laughs> <laughs> I also need to make 10 million now. <laughs> I want to say thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.